Bush said that's when they bought into the whole argument that we should go to war. When Iraq finally admitted having these weapons in 1995, the quantities were vast. Less than a teaspoon of dry anthrax, a little bit about this amount. This is just about the amount of a teaspoon. Less than a teaspoon full of dry anthrax in an envelope shut down the United States Senate in the fall of 2001. Iraq declared 8,500 liters of anthrax. But UNSCOM estimates that Saddam Hussein could have produced 25,000 liters. If concentrated into this dry form, this amount would be enough to fill tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of teaspoons. And Saddam Hussein has not verifiably accounted for even one teaspoonful of this deadly material. By and large, the entire American news media swallowed that uh, fish. They were like seals in, in a zoo, and uh, Powell was dropping fish in their mouth, and, and they almost, without exception, and I made a list, I, I don't have it in front of me, but a, a list of all of the leading newspapers, all of the leading news networks didn't question that uh, presentation. And what we know is none of that had to happen. The warning at Khan Sheikhoun was meant to say this is against, this is a violation of international order. We're not going to have this. This is against humanity and we're not going to have any sort of chemical weapons used. We're past that time in history. So we thought. It continued. And why did it continue? Because Assad kept wanting to eliminate his opponents. And this is the method of warfare he chose to do it. Now we get to a point where we have a joint investigative mechanism. It was there to investigate. The second they accused Assad of being um, a participant in the chemical weapons use, Russia eliminated the mechanism. So let's go a step further. We tried to have another mechanism. Russia vetoed it. We've had six resolutions that would really bring Assad to justice, call Syria out for chemical weapons, six resolutions vetoed by Russia. So you have a member who has used chemical weapons. You have a country, Russia, who's helped them cover up the use of chemical weapons. And we have a violation of international law. So what else are we supposed to do? The same reason he's done it multiple times since Khan Sheikhoun. When he goes into an area, this is the quickest way he can eliminate his opponent. And that area he wanted to eliminate who was left. What, why do we think this is important? because this is getting to be too normal, and this is something the United States, France, the UK, and all of the international community is saying, we can't absolutely have this. In terms of what's going on in DC and with the president, we had meetings in the White House yesterday. Um, I will be going back to DC for meetings today. I will tell you that first of all, did a chemical weapons attack happen? Yes, the US has analyzed, yes, it has happened. The UK has analyzed, yes, it has happened. France has analyzed, yes, it has happened. Three separate analyses all coming back with the same thing. There is proof that this happened. 